keep from throwing all my money down the drain. Since you started learning about the IUL account, you just can't get it out of your mind. You want to use this policy to safe and safely grow your money and create tax-free income in the future. You research by asking all your friends who've never heard of such a thing, watching everything you can on YouTube, but you're not sure what to trust, and even interviewed your financial planner. Nobody has ever mentioned or recommended life insurance as a place to save money with compound interest. You know the more that you save in the policy, the more you can earn. You eventually called a life insurance agent who showed you how much you can actually save into the policy each month given a specific death benefit. The agent also showed you how to access the cash tax-free in the future. Is this too good to be true? Is it really gonna work? What are the main risks of an IUL? What could go wrong? My name is Gail Longnecker, consultant to dozens of entrepreneurs, executives, and engineers in the area of life insurance. For the best life insurance advice, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here and be sure to hit that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Today I'll describe three big IUL policy problems to watch for. Commissions, product selection, and a funding plan. The first red flag is an IUL policy problem is commissions. Max commissions for the agent means less cash accumulation for you. How do you know if your agent has your best interest in mind and not gouging you on the commission? Well, just ask. They should have a good explanation about the fees and the commissions paid to them and how it impacts your cash value. What I usually say to my clients, even before they ask about commissions is, the most important thing to me is family. I would do anything to protect my family and when we work together, we become family. I will do everything I can to protect you and your policy just as if you were my own brother or sister. Now you don't pay me directly for my time or services. I'm paid by the insurance carrier to actually bring them new policy holders. I earn a nominal commission on this because I've had oodles of training and experience in this area, but it's not gouging into your cash value. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. It's by law that I have to be a fiduciary and I don't wanna be taking advantage of you. In fact, all the figures that you see on your life policy illustration are your net numbers. The commissions are already baked in. The second IUL policy problem, red flag to look for, is if you have a good life insurance carrier and product. Just like a Porsche is designed for speed and an F-350 is designed to haul large loads, life insurance is similar. Some carriers only serve the young and healthy crowd. Some carriers specialize in the aging population. Some life insurance carrier products have specific solid guarantees in order to cater to clients who like predictable and stable. Other life insurance products have hundreds of choices for those who prefer flexibility. As a consumer, you have to explain your goals with your agent and be able to trust your agent and their recommendations. If you're at an in-person or a Zoom call with me, you'll hear me say something like, as an independent agent with access to dozens of solutions, I've looked under every rock to find the best, best life insurance carrier and product that's the most appropriate for your goals. In fact, that's why most people really like working with me is because I'm very thorough. If you are my brother or sister, this is a solution I would recommend based on what you've told me so far. Still worried about throwing your money down the drain? Well, leave a comment in the section below and let me know what your worries are, your fears, or your main concerns about jumping into an IULR. I know purchasing life insurance can feel intimidating, so I've got many other resources for you. For example, after this video, check out my other episode, Three Reasons Why You Need an IUL, to learn more about this type of powerful life insurance policy. Or click the link below to learn how to become my client. Lastly, here's our third problem. The third red flag has to do with the funding plan. For any given death benefit, there's a maximum amount of premium that the government permits you to actually put into your policy. If you're gonna set up your policy for the best chances for a tax-free retirement, ask your agent if the policy is max funded with a minimum death benefit. If it is, then be realistic about how much you can really save to the IUL. This is your funding plan. When you're ready to avoid any of these problems with IUL or Index Universal Life Insurance, click the link below to become my client. You'll never have to worry about any problems in your IUL policy structure since we're gonna actually get it designed correctly from the start. In my next few videos, I'll be teaching you even more about problems that you need to be aware of, more red flags, if you have an IUL and how to prevent them, not only now, but in the future. If this information was valuable, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. 
Remember, I'm in your corner, helping you to build wealth your way.